You grab me a pillow? Pop a fucking pillow or something. Yeah. What the hell is on the chair? One or two. What do you mean? They must have had your children. They were playing with it. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Chris. Hey, Shauna. I'm going to wait till a couple more people get here until I go. I made a, a, a rookie error. I don't have the names of everything, so I'm going to kind of roll with it. Hey, Pam. I'm going to sling the bling, girl. <laughs> Just give me a couple more minutes and we'll get started and see if anybody else jumps on. I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties today. <laughs> it's Murphy's Law for me today. I miss you, Pam. I had three cups of coffee just for you. <laughs> I might need you ladies help because um, I don't have the name of all the bling today with my Murphy's Law Day today. Um, but I am going to get started. So I just want to thank everybody that came in for coming to my first live. And I uh, just want to say thank you for supporting my small business. This helps. Um, there will be two of us going to college in the fall and it helps my children play their sports um, and we really appreciate that. Um, a second I wanted to announce um, for every 10 people I will be giving away a free piece of bling. Um, so I will write down the names because Steven is indisposed holding my camera um, and we will have a drawing um, but the, per the people who get the bling will have to be here for the entire um, Slinging of the bling. So I have, uh, I got Pam, not Pammy. So since the holidays are coming up, I took the liberty of setting up a couple of the busts um, with some additional jewelry. Um, I am a statement piece person. Um, if you've ever seen me in public, I like to have a, a nice um, statement piece like I do now and a bracelet and earrings. So the first one I have set up here, let me just take it off here. It has the lobster claw clasp with the two inch extender on it. And then you see these beautiful medallions with a gray crystal stone in the center. I want to kind of get close so you can see that. The beautiful, the sparkle on them is wonderful. And um, they hit right about here. So they're a beautiful statement piece. Um, and the earrings match the the medallions, um, which right here, I'll give you a look at the earrings. And I've worn these, I have, I have that, and they're not heavy. Um, and I went ahead and I matched it with this ring. So I'll let you go ahead and take a... So... Again, our necklace and our earrings, that's going to be a number 27 for the necklace. And the earrings, and I promise I'll put them together when I send them to you. So if you'd like a uh, necklace and earrings, that's 27. Go back 
that for me. And the ring, again, I'll show you. It's number 28, and there's the ring. Uh, the next piece I put together is this beautiful, beautiful statement piece. Um, it also has the lobster claw closure with a two inch extender. Um, it's also a statement piece, it hits right here. Uh, it has these beautiful silver ball beads, and then it has um, the little drizzle of the, the silver coming down. Um, let's see, I have this. It has the, the silver drizzle earrings um, to match it. And what I match with it is this um, bracelet that also has the same silver ball beads with it. And remember, um, everything is $5 with the necklace and earrings. They are lead free and they are nickel free. So you don't have to worry about any allergies to jewelry. Um, and so here are the ball beads that go to that. And as you see, they match the necklace ball beads and the ball beads in the bracelet. Um, and I also thought that one of our rings looked really nice with that. It's a silver ring and it has a big um, oval in the middle with some exposed skin on both sides. You see that? So the necklace and the earrings are number 18. Comment sold number 18 if you would like that. And the bracelet. Comment sold number 19 if you would like that. And the ring would be sold number 17. And here's the ring again if you need a closer look. Uh, this is one of my favorites. I wear this frequently. I think it looks like angels. And I've heard a couple other people say the same thing. Um, so it has the, the lobster claw closure the two inch extender, it's a silver piece. And if you look down here, you may think it looks like angels too. And the earrings also match the pattern on the necklace here. I've got a lot of um, great comments on this. It's a, it's a really nice piece. Um, you can take it from work to a party uh, and I also thought that uh, this ring looked rather nice with it. Well, are we, I think we're almost up to 10 people. We may uh, be giving out of the press soon. So again, I'll show you the necklace one more time. The necklace and the earrings are number 20. Let me see if I got that right. There we go. Number 20. You can put number 20 and sold if you would like the necklace and earrings and the ring is number 21 let me just write down join now um hi khadidra the first the the incentive for today is every um 10 people so the first 10 i give away one um piece from paparazzi then after 20 I'll give away another piece and so on and so forth so I'm just writing down names um the only caveat is you have to be here for the whole um presentation of the jewelry um and this is just lovely I love turquoise jewelry lately so uh this is number 22 here so you have this beautiful Beautiful. Now it's a shorter piece, so it only hits about here. Um, but you have these um, oval 
turquoise, um, cracked turquoise, actually. You see the little um, brown uh, cracks in there. Necklace with the matching earrings, and they have the little cracks in them also. Um, and I said, that's number 22. And what I wanted to pair them with when I saw them, I thought of something I had received before, and it, they look beautiful with them. There's also a turquoise bracelet, number 24, um, that has the same uh, turquoise and the brown cracks. It also has a lob lobster um, closure right there for you. So I thought that would be really pretty with it. Um, and we also have a beautiful turquoise ring. Let me just put it, because it's a, it's a long ring, so I'll, I want to get close enough so you guys can see it. So it has the same, um, it's, it's all long and oval. It's got um, silver around it, um, and then it's the, the turquoise with the uh, brown crackle effect in it. And that's going to be number 23. Uh, bracelet's number 24, and again, the necklace is number 22. So if you would like any of those pieces, um, you can comment sold. How was everyone's day today? Hi, Kadidra. <laughs> Hi, Pineda. I know I'm, I'm going to call you Pineda forever. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope everyone had a great Thursday. I had a crazy Thursday. Um, this is another great piece. When I seen this piece here, um, my daughter is a senior, and prom is always a thought in my mind, so I thought of her. So here we have this in silver, so it's a, it's a great statement piece. You have your lobster call closure, your two-inch extender, and then you have these three beautiful um, galvanized pieces around the um, jewels, and they're... they're crystal very beautiful piece and then the earrings are just as gorgeous and it's so shiny it's beautiful and then you have the earrings that are crystal with the same uh, galvanized silver around it and around the back if you can see that I don't know if I'm doing such a good job here there you go I also have that in gold, so let me show you what it looks like in gold, and that's going to be number 33. Huh? Again, 33. And this is what it looks like in gold. I have this gold one. I think it's gorgeous. If you'd like this piece, it would be sold number 33. For the silver piece, um, and just the spirit of proms right around the corner, I, I thought this beautiful bracelet would match very nice with that necklace. Um, so it's an expandable bracelet, so it'll fit any wrist size. Um, and then you have the uh, clear crystal inside of the bracelet, if you can see that. I'll just get up close to you. And it sparkles. The sparkle on it is amazing. Um, and then it's surrounded by the silver. It reminds me of a princess brace a bracelet. Cinderella. And I know a lot of the girls like to feel like Cinderella on their prom, especially mine. She likes to feel like Cinderella every day. <laughs> and then I found... Also, this ring to go with it, so I'm going to put it on my ring, and it's number 34, so I thought this ring would look nice, too, and it the shine on it is just amazing, if you can see it. So it has the same silver and different size white crystals um, all over. It's just, it's bling. It's all about the bling. So this is 34, so if you would like this, you come at 34 and sold. I guess my secret's out. Everybody knows I wear glasses now because I'm getting old and I can't see. 
<laughs> I'm glad you had a good day. I'm glad your day was entertaining, Tanya. I think mine was anything but entertaining. Let me see. I'm still getting these uh, mirror image numbers down here. This is a piece, actually, I received from Pam, who's watching, <laughs> for Christmas a year ago. This is what actually got me liking <laughs> paparazzi so much. I got it in purple. Um, it's really nice. It's a really nice piece for the holiday. And I like that this is brown and Thanksgiving comes up very shortly. Um, and I think it would look good with a mustard color like what I'm wearing. So you have a bow closure. And then you have the same color brown ball earrings. Um, and from there, I used to tie mine to the side. You can tie yours to the back. You have a lot of flexibility in what way you'd like to wear the necklace. Um, you have an oval, um, and, it, and you can, it rotates, it kind of rotates when you move. And then you have um, a brown, silver, brown, silver. It just kind of goes into that rotation there, but it's a multi-chain. So there's a lot of, of the um, brown ball beads um, with different shapes in the silver, if you can see it. It's a, it's a beautiful piece. The camera really doesn't do any justice. It's beautiful. And this is um, like the piece that made me fall in love with paparazzi. And I, I just, um, I, I still have my purple piece. And this is what made me fall in love with such a beautiful piece. So this is 02. And if you'd like it, just um, 02 sold. You love it, Khadidra? Is this one that you got for Christmas too? But you can just watch a replay, Khadidra, and um, just let me know what you want. It's fine. Pam, you give the best Christmas gifts. <laughs> um, number three, I wear this one frequently. You might have seen one of my posts with it. I have these in two different colors. Um, it's just, you can wear it for work. You can wear it for leisure. I think it's beautiful. This is turquoise. Um... This is a really like pop out color. Um, you wouldn't think for fall, but it, it is. It's a real popular color right now. Um, I love it. It sets just perfectly on your shirt and the earrings are just awesome. Um, they're beaded too. Um, it kind of reminds me, if, if anybody remembers like macrame in middle school, it reminds me of that, but it's like beaded. It's um, a beautiful piece. I wear it all the time and I think you can put you can take it from t-shirt to workplace so that's why I love it so much really versatile so um very good with the numbers again I'll get better I promise I have a ring light in my face uh so this is a number zero zero three if you'd like it um just sold zero zero three Next item, 004. There we go. I have in two colors. So it's another um, stain and piece. It's a shorter necklace. Um, and it has these <laughs> vest, they look to me maybe like an avocado shape. <laughs> Um, they're really pretty. I actually want to get one for myself and my husband just made a face at me, so that's not good. Um, and they fall really short. So up here, if you had, um, you know, a, a blouse on that you want to leave a little open at the top, that would work really well. Um, and the earrings are the same and they have the fish hook, um, which a lot of ours do. A lot of our, um, earrings here have the fish hook, if you can see my, um, and it has the lobster claw closure uh, and the two inch extender. And again, it is in silver. Um, you can hear it kind of jingling. And I also have it in my favorite, favorite color. And that's rose gold. So we also have it in rose gold. So just comment if you'd like the silver or the rose gold. And the number again, 004. I 
here's another one that I personally love. I just wore this to my um, daughter's last home game walking to her on the field. It's number six. Um, you have, let me see if I can show you here. You have your lobster claw, your two inch extension, and then you have silver and black um, ball beads. Um, and they gradually get bigger until so your your speckled uh, silver and black bead, and then you have the silver spacers in between. The necklace is a shorter necklace. It is a gorgeous necklace. I wore it with a um, a white um, like a Henley, and it looked great. And then you have the um, black ball bead earrings and it just like I said you can wear it with casual I wore it casual with um a pair of jeggings and a, a high heel boots and it, I got a lot of great comments on it it's, it's a great piece um so if you would like this piece if I can get the number right I'll be gonna be the awesome can you see that Steve I'm flipping mm -hmm. zero zero six <laughs> multi-layer um it's a long longer chain you can wear it long um i know some people like to double these up but i, I think this will look great long with a, a cardigan open cardigan open sweater it has uh the yellow ball bead earrings and then you have the silver beads and the yellow alternating and you have um three chains to the bottom which is the longest chain uh you have your Lobster claw closure and your two inch extender on here. If you are interested in this one, it's number one three. I think we hit our first 10 person here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's Lori. Can you just flip me back? Should see? have a number, it says how many people are watching. Oh, there's only two left. Oh, only two left. We would have hit 10. Okay. Oh, I'm a struggle bus today. I am. This one is great for breast cancer awareness month. It's really pretty. It's really simple. Um, it's a long chain, but the simplicity I think is what makes it. It's the interlocking teardrops, and one of them is pink, and I think this greatly um, represents uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I would wear this for any of your Breast Cancer Awareness um, Month events that you're going to. Um, and the earrings are small pink ball beads. They're really pretty. Let me see if I can get them in here so you can see them. There you go. And if you'd like this piece, just comment, 016 sold. Um, also, uh, shipping is flat rate, $4. Um, and I can invoice you on PayPal or Square. Um, or if you have Cash App, I can also do that. Um, you just let me know how you want to be invoiced. And invoices need to be paid within 48 hours of accepting the item. We'll get into the fun stuff. The fun stuff soon. It's Friday somewhere, I swear. Okay. This is an interesting piece. Okay, so you can wear this nine different ways, number 46 here. And I'm going to kind of demonstrate with it. I'm going to open it up. I'll show you the earrings first. So you have the cascading gold tone earrings um they hit right above the shoulder so you can wear this as you can wear it like 
this. Trying to become an expert here. This, you can do it like this. You can. Only because I've lost a ton of weight am I even attempting to show my waist on television. You can wrap it around your waist like so. Like this. You can. It's kind of like, it is. it's called, it's the scarf necklace. So there's nine different ways that you can wear this. Um, It's very versatile piece. Um, a lot of people seem to be liking this piece for the fall. If you would like this piece for yourself. I'm trying to see if I'm front or back here. Number 046. Okay. Oh, I love this one. This one I love. I'm gonna take mine off and kind of throw it on so you can see where it hits. So you have your black ball beads with fish hooks um, as your earrings. And then you have your lobster claw, your two inch extender. And then this beautiful um, black tool with the tassel coming off of it. I just love jewelry like that. Just a little extra something. And then this is what it looks like on. I think it's a, it's a really pretty piece. A lot of these pieces, the reason I like them is they're so versatile. I can wear them to work and then I can come home and just throw a shirt on and it's still, not, it's okay to wear like that. So that's why I like it. And for $5, you can't beat it. So 45, sold 45. And there's another one like it. This one is green. So you have the green ball beads with the silver fish hooks. And let's see. And then you have the green, the beautiful gem. And then it's all full of bling all the way around, white bling. And then on the top here, if you see, it's also bling all around it. Um, and it has another tassel and it hits really below the waist there. It's a really pretty piece again. And again, here's another look. And sold 042 if you'd like it. This one, where I live, um, I live by a lot of active and retired service members. And I think I'm gonna get one for myself because this would be really good for like Memorial Day and 4th of July and things like this. I think this is really a nice way to celebrate. So you've got your, your red, white, and blue ball beads. It's a long necklace. And then you got your blue ball bead earrings with the fish hooks. Um, and again, it's a longer necklace. It actually hits past the waist, but I have a short torso. so. Um, it might not be as long on somebody who's long torso, like my, my daughter would probably hit, um, a little higher for her, but I think this would be good for uh, like Memorial Day, Labor Day, 4th of July holidays. Um, it's really nice for that. And I just like how, um, they just add some different touches in here. So these aren't ball beads. They are, um, circles with some silver around it. So nice piece so 041 sold if you'd like it and if you missed earlier i did have this 
a bracelet that matches this. I can go back if you would like to see it or you can watch it in the replay. But I'm really into turquoise this season. So these are turquoise earrings with fish hook closure. Um, they have they're the crackle turquoise. Um, they have brown crackle striations through them. Um, they are embossed in silver, and the same goes for the piece. It is a dainty piece. It's a shorter piece. It's embossed in silver in the back. Um, has a, a pretty pattern on it. Um, and as also they're striated with the brown. And this is piece zero four zero. I really love this piece and I actually own it. Copper. This is copper, so this is a this is um a jewelry I didn't ever think I would wear copper, but it wears beautifully. It looks really nice. Um so again, this is another dainty piece. It's a shorter. Um you have your copper um circle earrings with your fish hook closure. Uh you have your lobster claw with your two inch extender. And then you have the larger circles um, interlocking with the smaller copper circles. Uh, it's a really nice piece also. So 025, and I, I love this. I've worn it a couple of times just out and about. Um, the earrings aren't heavy, they're actually pretty light. Um, and it's, it's really nice to wear. I, I thought copper would be heavy, but it's not. It's a really nice piece to wear. I love, love, love this piece. If you like green, you'll like this. So this has the beveled um, circular earrings. I see those, the sparkle on them. And then it has, of course, your lobster claw and your two inch extender. And then down the chain, you have oval and circle beveled um, extenders. And some of them have this beautiful green, like emerald green stone in them. And it's beveled around the edges. And that is, sorry, I'm getting used to it, zero, three, nine. This one is, Another statement piece I'll have to wear. So it has um, two ball bead black earrings with little shimmer. They have the facial closures. Then they go down the chain um, with some shapes, some geometric shapes. And then it ends with the sun, moon, and stars. So I'll go ahead and, and put that on. And so you can see where it hits. It's a statement piece. It's a piece I would wear um, like with the black or a blouse or something like that because it requires something very muted because I, I feel like this piece screams, look at me. So it's, it's, a, it's not heavy at all. It looks really heavy, but it's not heavy. So I moved the cart in there for it. Zero one five. And this piece here, Christmas will be here before you know it. This is another dainty necklace that hits um, just slightly off the collarbone. So you can see it has the red and silver ball beads on the chains. And you have your lobster call closure, your two um, inch extension, and then you have your red ball beads. And this is, I'll get it right, zero, zero, 008. And we have another one just like it. It's in the amethyst purple. Um, 
So here are the earrings. They are teardrop earrings. They have the fish, silver fish hooks. And then they go down the chain. It's a lobster claw closure, a two inch extender. And then you have an um, alternates between the amethyst lined with silver and silver. And that's zero, zero, 009. It gets me every time. I'm never going to get used to this. <laughs> nope. That's what it looks right to you is right to them. <laughs> no, it's lots like that. I just wore this one Monday. Um, this is a mandala. Um, it's beautiful. It, go, it hit right at my waist. It's just gorgeous. And I have one of the Vandala bracelets on. Mine happens to be silver. Um, if you are friends with me on Facebook, you know I'm really into um, like Eastern medicine and things like that. So the Vandala jewelry was something I bought right away. So this is, this is um, the gold. The bronze, I'm sorry. It's the bronze. Um, and it has the chain link earrings with the fish hook same color and then it goes down to this beautiful mandala and it has also the same chain that hangs on the earrings it's a beautiful beautiful piece this is one zero three six Oh man, this one. No. And let's see here. This is a very long one too. Um, same thing. It's um, bronze. Um, and it comes down to these galvanized rings. Let's see if you can see that. And they're very shiny and it hits at the waist. Um, it's a really, it's a really cute piece. Like for go, I would use it for going out. It's a fun piece. Um, and then it has these galvanized um, circle earrings with the, the uh, fish hook closures. And you have your lobster claw closure with a two inch extender. I'm gonna let you get a look at that. And it's 026. This is a very dainty necklace. My daughter wore this. <laughs> to her homecoming. It's very cute and you can't beat them for five bucks. So you have your lobster claw closure, two inch extender on a silver chain. And this is just crystal bling um, with a white crystal. And then you have your white crystal earrings on a fish hook. Um, really classic, just, you know, classic Cinderella. When you don't need to overstate your outfit, you just want something, you know, classic and understated. And it worked for her. She looked gorgeous. So that's 007. And here's another one of my favorites. This is the white um, stone with the uh, brown crackling through it, like turquoise had. This is brown, but it's white, white sandstone. And the ball bead earrings also have the brown crackling through it. It has your lobster claw closure and your two inch extension. It's also, everything's $5. And it's 20, oh, I was right. Look, I was right, 29. <laughs> oh man. So here we go. I like this one a lot. Um, this is I would use this one. I had to do my business attire, like when I had to suit up. Um, it's black ball beads, and it has the bling. If you can see it, right. Let me see if I'm getting it to you. Right in between every bead, that's just a bead of the pure bling. I like that. And then it has the black ball bead earrings with the fish hook closures, lobster claw closure, and two inch extender. And that is number 
Here we are. And this is, reminds me of a lasso. <laughs> number this um has the knot in it and then the earrings are supposed to look like knots this is a gold piece um it reminds me of a lasso it does have the fish hook um in gold and then the lobster claw uh two inch extender and then it has the knot you can fix the knot to be as high or as low as you would like to be if you would like this It's zero one zero. Oh, it coming up. I need to take this out. Um, let's see here. That's fine. This is another mandala um, in the bronze. It has the little chain earrings. It's a fish hook. You have the lobster closure, lobster claw closure, two inch extender, and the mandala on this is beautiful. Let me see if you can see that. It's beautiful. This is number 005. <coughs> Excuse me, my kids are giving me the two of these. Cootie season. Okay, and our next piece, and we're almost done with these, and we're gonna flip over the bracelets and earrings. <clears throat> I love this piece. Um, this is one of the longer ones that hits at the waist, so I'll just put it on here. So it's silver um, chain with an orange um, sandstone. It has beautiful like antique filigree around it and on the the hook the chain is really beautiful too it matches what's around the gemstone itself and then stuck in my own earrings here never a good thing okay then you have the earrings they are the same orange and they have the fish hook closure you have the lobster claw closure here with the two inch extender. And if you like that, it's 038. This is another multi necklace, uh, 030. It's the ball, two pearl ball beads with the fish hook. And then you have your lobster claw closure with the two-inch extender. And you have silver pearls and, um, you know, your regular pearl colored pearls with uh, three tiers of chain lengths and silver. And again, that's 030. And I have the same one in silver. And that'll be also zero, three, zero. And this is exactly like the green, but it's blue. I'm sorry, not the green, the orange, but it's blue. So this will be zero, three, eight. You'll just have to tell me if you want the orange or the blue. our last long pendant it is a silver teardrop pendant with an amethyst in the middle and it has the white uh, bling crystals on it silver all around lovely pattern on the back it has the lobster claw closure two inch extender the fish hook enclosure with beautiful crystal earrings and that's 043 okay so we're gonna look at our rings really quickly 
that I did not look at earlier in the cast. So we have this pink ring and it has silver and bling all around it and all kinds of designs and the thing is if it's too big you take a blow dryer and you can make it tighter just blow dry it and a link will pop out um and that way you can make it more loose or blow dry it and hold it together and you can make it tighter so these rings can fit anyone. We have this beautiful black stone um, with white crystal around it. I love this stone. It reminds me of the Titanic ring I know except that was blue but this is beautiful. A lot of bling coming off of this. I'm going to show you my favorite favorite ring right now. So it's a multi-tier ring and it blings. Look at the bling off of that. And again, they're always, they're $5. And here's a beautiful ring. It almost reminds me of a peacock. It has this beautiful filigree silver around it. And on the ends, there's little bling on each of the ends it's just a beautiful it's like a cocktail ring it reminds me of a cocktail ring it does sparkle a lot I know then we have this beautiful ring here it's like a gray purple uh, three stone ring and then there is white crystal bling all around it and it just blings any way you turn it you're getting bling blinded by the bling thank you tanya i think i'm killing steam's arm we lost our <laughs> tripod for the moment um this is absolutely beautiful too for an everyday ring. Look at the sparkle on that. It's a yellow, um, it's a yellow and white crystal. And boy, does that blinks. And so let me number the first row for you. Cause I got so excited. I forgot to tell you what numbers they were. So this beautiful piece of bling, the pink ring is one, one, zero. I'm sorry, zero, one, one. Can you see that? Zero, one, one. It's hard. <laughs> he has no hands, it's me. Zero, one, one. Can you see that? Okay, perfect. Next bling, the beautiful black ring is zero one two. And my favorite piece, zero three five. See that? And the cocktail ring. Look at that. It's so pretty. Zero, zero, one. <clears throat> the beautiful dark amethyst colored ring is zero, forty seven. And our beautiful yellow and white blinged out ring is 048. Then we have this one. Oh goodness, look at the bling on this. Look at that. This is going to be 049. I don't think I want to take that one off. <laughs> 
And then we have a copper ring. And it, it reminds me of an antique ring that my grandmother used to have. It's really beautiful and it's copper. You have to just, it's beautiful. The detail is gorgeous. That's going to be zero, five, zero for this beautiful copper ring. And then we have a rose gold. And that is zero, five, one. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. All right. And last but not least... Just knock my rings everywhere. Are my bracelets? <laughs> okay. And if you have something that you would like to see that you don't see that I have at the moment, you just let me know and I will make sure to have it um, next time that I go live. This is my first go live, if you <laughs> haven't noticed. So I might not have everything that you're looking for it quite yet. So this is a bracelet, a wrap bracelet. Um, it's pretty, let me just move mine. <coughs> uh, snap it on here. Just look at the bling on that. And it's really comfortable. It's soft. And if you could dress it up with a jean coat. Or even a sport coat. <coughs> um, and five for five dollars, you can't beat it. And this is going to be fifty-two. See, I better take off my bracelet because I'm going to be wearing the bracelet. So. Next one is great for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's a silver bracelet. Um, you just put it on off its cuff. Uh, it has a beautiful pink jewel in the middle. I, mean, I can't see so much, so there you go. And then it has two silver balls and it has some filigree around it. It's a beautiful bracelet if you'd like this bracelet it is zero five three and sold next bracelet I really really love it's um rose gold which is my favorite so it's rose gold and it has a circle full of bling my favorite I love bling and it is zero five four. Just look at that bling for a minute. Oh, my phone's getting low. Okay. And the next is one of my favorite mandala bracelets. Check it out. It it is an elastic bracelet, so it fits multiple wrist sizes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yours broke. I love that one. I love these mandala bracelets. They're so beautiful. And you can dress them up, dress them down. They can go anywhere. And this is not going to be number 55. 55. And here's another cuff. I love this cuff. Rose gold, you can adjust it because I have like the rest of a two year old. My, the, the rest of my body kept growing. My wrist remembered that I'm supposed to be skinny. But <laughs> here it is. It's beautiful. I could see this with a nice little black dress going out. It's going to be number 56, guys. 56.
This is beautiful. Understated copper. Love it. If I'm just going out with jeans and a white button down, this and a jean jacket, this says it all without saying it. I love it. This is number 57. And I love this. Uh, feathers mean a lot to me. I like feathers. It's part of my um, namaste. <laughs> um, so I really, I, this means a lot to me. And I can, I can never personally catch it. But I hope somebody gets it and it means as much to them. It's, it's you can um, adjust. It's adjustable. I got, this is um, rose gold. And it's just a simple feather. And it will be number 58. And here's one. It looks like arrow prints. Or like moving forward kind of thing. And you got to see inside. Because that's what I really love about this bracelet. Do you see the inside? Isn't that so awesome? And then kind of the arrows. And that's another thing I like. It kind of goes with my new chill vibes. <laughs> so here's this bracelet for you guys to take a look at. Adjustable also. And that is number 59. And my, oh, I love this one, rose gold, multi-layered, just goes, oh, it's so nice, look at that, it's nicely, you could dress it up, dress it down, love it, love it, love it, rose gold, look at the shine, look at the bling, some of the um, uh, rose are polished and some of them have a sparkle to it and that's what makes it so special and blingy, and that's number Zero six zero, and that is the end of my bling adventure for tonight, folks. I want to thank everybody who stayed along. There's one person left. If you're watching this on the replay again, I appreciate you watching. Um, I decided to do this um, after getting a Christmas present and buying the jewelry um, and being reunited with a friend I hadn't seen and probably. 25 years um, reuniting and rekindling a friendship and um, I have decided to continue in my studies um, in medicine and start what I finished um, in physician's assistant studies so that means two of us will be in college in fall and yeah, I know I can't get enough of college um, so I just want to thank you all um, and say I really appreciate it and supporting my small business not only means that you're helping myself and my child through college, but that you're helping us put our kids in sports and helping us pay our bills during a, uh, a little bit of a, a rough patch with us while I'm graduating from um, school and then jumping right back into school and trying to, you know, find a career from, from graduate school. So I really appreciate that. And, um, I hope that you find something you like Christmas is around the corner. And if you want to join my team and, and sell something that I can stand behind because I've actually been wearing it for the last year and a half, um, Please send me a DM, call me, anything you need, I'm here. I'd like to share the gift that Tanya shared with me. Um, I just want to say thank you, and I hope you have a good night. Bye-bye.